Today we celebrate the feast of St. John Vianney. Uh, John Vianney was uh, from France, born in France in 1786. He grew up during a time of the French Revolution when uh, Catholicism was uh, being uh, persecuted and suppressed, but his family was a, a deeply pious family, and so they went out of their way to find places where they could attend Mass and receive the sacraments. Eventually, uh, John Vianney uh, attended seminary, but in 1809, he was drafted by Napoleon to serve in the military, even though he was in the seminary because Napoleon needed soldiers to fight against the Spanish. Well, two days after he was drafted, uh, he became sick. John Vianney became sick, and so he uh, lost track of uh, his fellow recruits. He tried to join the army again after he recovered, and there was a young man who uh, promised to escort him to where he was to serve, but instead he led John to a place, uh, a very, very small little village where he uh, became a deserter. He and many others became deserters. And because the village was so remote, they were never discovered. Eventually, he and the other deserters were granted amnesty, and he returned to the seminary. He was ordained in 1815 and assigned as a parish priest to a tiny little village called Ars, A-R-S, a village with only about 230 people in it. There he became uh, well known as a confessor uh, to the point where as many as 20,000 pilgrims a year came to him so that he could hear their confession. At, uh, at the peak of his health, he heard confessions anywhere from 16 to 18 hours a day. And even at the, near the end of his life, he uh, continued to hear confessions for 11 to 12 hours every day. Finally, at the age of 73, he died on August the 4th, 1859. And it is said that there were some 300 priests and 6,000 other uh, lay people who attended his funeral. Certainly, St. John Vianney was a man of great uh, holiness and great spirituality, and I hope that this little uh, discussion of his life has been uh, helpful. He's an example of uh, someone who devoted his life uh, to Christ. Thank you so much for watching and listening today. Have a great day.